Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, get a universal message, see how you guys are doing on the soul's journey. What relevant information the universe has for you. Anything to encourage you, enlighten you, make you aware of something, or simply just to uplift your spirit. So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see what divine messages are coming through. You are unique. Be brave, a little crazy, but be yourself. You're one of a kind. Okay? No one does it like you. No one has what you has. What you have, you know? You're special. And this is the universe saying, be brave enough to show your uniqueness. It may be a little crazy, right? It may, you know... um, not be everybody's cup of tea but it's who you are right you have no other option but to be yourself because trying to be anything else is just exhausting right so you are unique and show that uniqueness to those around you even if they feel like you a little crazy you know but you gotta be yourself so this is the universe saying Pisces be your authentic true self and it's letting you know how special you are. You're unique. <laughs> People like you don't come around every dynasty, you know. You're one of a kind, man. Special. Chosen. Right? So, Pisces, let's hop into this read and let's just collect some energy. Let's see what the universe is speaking of. We got the Three of Wands showing up. Got the Queen of Cups. Got the Six of Swords. Oh, and we have the Hangman. Just crossing all this energy, Pisces, is the Two of Wands. All right, Pisces, two of wands, an underlying energy, right? It's all about forward movement. It's all about taking the necessary steps to get from point A to point B, right? You have something locked in already, right? Feeling like you need to take action on it, but you're unclear about the outcome, right? You want to know the outcome of a situation before you pursue it. You got a lot of things in the bag. You just want to know that it's going to work out. And I feel like sometimes you don't get to know that. That's why it's so unclear. You have to trust, right? You have to have faith, right? So I feel like that's what the universe is calling for you to do. You know, if there's something that's pulling towards you or calling on you or that you want to do, follow your intuition on that. You may not know how it'll turn out, but you got to trust that it'll turn out the way you manifest in it. Right. So if you got all these things locked in and you never take action on them because you can't see the end result and you're going to miss a lot of opportunities. Sometimes we just don't get to know. We have to go through it in order to find out. So the universe is saying, Pisces, <clears throat> go ahead and keep taking those steps forward here with the three of wands. Because you've been waiting for something. You can't, you know, it's like what I mean by like you've been waiting for something. It's like, okay, when this happens, I'll do that. I'll pursue that. Or I have to wait until I get in this position to do this or to move that way. The universe is saying, no, you don't. See, you unclear about the future or what steps to take. You start taking your steps now. If you waiting and waiting and waiting, you may possibly never go. So it's time to open up and expand and just trust, right? Queen of Cups, okay? 
This is you kind of like really taking that time for Pisces. Really caring and loving on yourself on a deep level, on a soulful level, on a spiritual level. Right? I feel like a lot of you have really put a cap on your cup. A lot of you are not over giving yourself anymore. Right? A lot of you are really trying to move forward and move on and let go and release and create something new and start over. Right? But you keep waiting for something. Hangman. I feel like some of you have a low expectation of yourself. And that needs to fall away. Okay? And I feel like that, you know, not that you're not capable or creative enough. It's just that you feel like you will be judged because you're different. You you feel like people wouldn't understand you because you're different. Your views and your perspectives are above the average person. It truly is. Whether you believe in that or not, you can see things that other people can't. You can feel things that other people can't. You know things that other people don't. You have a gift. And you have to start using it. You have to be aware that it's there. And you have to use it because it was a a skill or a tool that you were blessed with to navigate your way around. And you have to use it. So, you cannot let doubt hold you back. You cannot sit back and wait for something that may never come. You have to trust and take your chances and keep putting one foot in front of the other. Each and every day, right? Those wands, passionate people. The type of people who got grit, determination, a strong will. You know, discipline. Biting the bullet. Going through it. Okay? So you got to be able to put in your work for what you want. Love and care on yourself throughout that journey the whole way. You'll find peace in that. And you'll be more enlightened. And your vision will become clearer. But you have to just be yourself. That's it. Just be yourself. Don't worry about what they say or think or how they may view you or judge you or what they may say about you. It doesn't matter. You got something that's unique. And it may not be accepted in the beginning, but whatever you're out here creating that's your own thing, it's going to grow on people. It's different. It's, it's a different energy. It's a different thing that's meant to change the world or leave a print on the world. That's the whole purpose why we are here is to bring our own energetic creative abilities into the space that we inhabit for the change, to be the light the perspective we don't all have to conform to just this one thing we can do things different look this is my way so whatever kind of ability you have just be yourself with it just be you naturally just be you naturally when you're comfortable and around people you're comfortable. That feeling where you're, you know, just uncut and, and you are being you and everybody loves you. You make people laugh, right? You, you know, just be Pisces. That's it. 
because you are unique you are special right so pisces i ain't gonna dwell on that so long it's like you know i didn't mean to uh over try to explain it but it's like some of you are your you you yourself are like your biggest hindrance right you lowering your expectations of yourself is an insult to the divine to the to the energy <laughs> it's an insult you got to be you and you got to trust in you you have to know you you have to love you care for you protect you you know you have to be the one to do it give yourself a chance show the world the real you that's all the universe is saying and then move forward on that so we got this three of wands okay it's like you've been waiting you just keep waiting not giving up but you've had a lot of setbacks you've had a lot of setbacks right and I feel like Every setback, you put up a wall, right? You put up this wall for, of protection, right? And, and it just, it just, it's like you sit and marinate in it, right? And then you take a step forward, boom, another setback. It's like you got to release these wands. You can't let anything or anyone or any situation kind of like, slow you down or you know steal your creativity dim your light in any type of way it seems like every time you take a hit or a blow or every time you get wounded you it's like you got to take a minute it takes you a minute to bounce back but guess what you always bounce back right so that three of wands to this nine of wands is like well you ain't giving up so just keep on going. What you slowing down for? What you stop for? What you waiting on? What you put up all these wands for? You getting comfortable? Right? Maybe you be trying to get comfortable physically, but spiritually, in the mind, in the spirit, like it, you can't stay. You, you can't give up. We got to move on. We got to push through. So it's like those wands, they devoted, okay, Pisces? They they structured, they are disciplined, they self-discipline a lot for the greater good, for the higher cause, for the bigger picture. So even though we know giving up is not an option, we still have to figure out what the hell are we waiting for? Why are we waiting to be great? We're naturally great. You know, we're naturally amazing. We're naturally unique. But we start living life and it starts throwing things at us that makes us uncomfortable. And it starts to take us off track of our uniqueness. We start hiding a little bit of ourselves each time we take a blow or we got an open wound. The universe is saying, no, keep on going. Right? You have to have some discipline, some structure, some determination, grit, the will, right? To open up and expand. This is war. Some of you are fighting to be yourself. Right? But this is the king of swords. This is a respected person. People will respect you more when you are yourself. Right? This person knows truth about situations. So it's like you have to trust in yourself. You have to believe yourself. You have to, you know, the fight is for you to be you. You're fighting yourself. You know all the answers already. You already know what the truth is. What you waiting for? Is there a fear there? Two of Wands. Because you, it's the Two of Wands again, because you don't get to know the future, right? You don't get to know what's next. If you had, 
If you know every move you're supposed to make, then what's the point? If I already know how it's going to turn out, I already know what I got to do. I already know the end uh, outcome. I already know the outcome. So I'm not going to be as passionate as I would be. Right. You just don't get to know. And you want to know so bad and wanting to be in that know so bad and being in that energy is what's make you stagnant. It's what prolongs your growth. It's what dims your light. It's what uh, gets you a little bit away from your creative abilities, right? So you have to nurture that part of you, right? Queen of Cups. You have to nurture that part of you that tends to let a battle slow them down. It's like you got to sit back and regroup each and every time something happens. You have to sit and marinate in it for a minute, right? You have to close your cup off to it, right? You have to just sit in it. Why? It's all part of the transformation. That's just the way it goes for you, right? It's all part of the fight. It's a fight to be yourself in this world. To not change, to not conform. Right, but to change other things about yourself, your perspectives, right? What what keeps you flowing? What keeps you moving on? What keeps you going? That's the only type of transformation you need to undergo. What keeps you strong? Transform the weaknesses into strengths. Right, that Scorpio energy. You got to put that hard shell on. You got to start stinging. You got to start fighting back. Hell, you being represented as a king of swords. That's the warrior. All these wands, those are warriors. You got to start fighting back. Whatever demons or people, situations, you got to start fighting back. You got to start taking back your power. That's the only way you're going to win. That's the only way they're going to see you. That's the only way you're going to be able to keep moving forward in a way where Pisces win. Is you got to be true to yourself. You got to fight your way through. You got to take back your power. You got to have thick, tough skin. You got to be prepared to sting a motherfucker if you have to. All the while, while moving forward and keeping your peace. Because, see, once you start being yourself, people will respect you enough. They won't even, you know, that's just Pisces. You'll be one of the most natural people around. It's just Pisces. So, we got moving on to satisfaction, to victory, to happiness, to fulfillment. Contentment. Right? You got to keep on moving and stop waiting for something to happen. There go your two. There go your two of wands. Right? You got to get it through your head. You don't get to know what's out there until you go out there. You can't stand there and wait and look and try to see as far as you can see before you go. You have to start making moves in order to be happy. In order to get to that place where you are content. Right? Where everything flows. Where you're with the algorithm. Where you're with the frequency. Right? You're aware of all these things. You know what you need to do already. Right? You see things for what it is, Pisces. I saw the Ace of Swords trying to come out. It's just more, more clarity. Right? That you need to be Pisces. That you need to just share your own gift. The high priestess, right? You just need to be yourself. You need to have spiritual strength in this physical existence too. Right? You, um, you may be being called to tap in, right? To meditation or prayer. Okay? Guidance from a higher power, a higher source. Okay? Be aware of, of the, the priest, the high priest in you here with the hangman. Your energy so strong and powerful. Maybe you ought to view things from a spiritual perspective. Maybe that's where your strength comes from. 
when you trust in the, in the higher self, the higher being that's in you, when you trust that, you know, everything will be okay and you are unique. We not all robots. We don't all want to be the same. Well, a lot of people do want to be the same because when you look around in the world, everybody looking the same. They got the same hair, the same body structures and types, the same everything. You know what I'm saying? It's all, you know, you you different from that. And no, not placing judgment on those people who do their thing. It is what it is. But it's not you, right? That's not just, that's just the thing you're not doing, Okay. You're unique. All right. So, yeah, start viewing things from a spiritual perspective, Pisces. Start looking at the whole big picture of things, okay? Really, you know, just trust in that person that that's, lives within you. Nurture your spirit, okay? Nurture your spirit. Release the things you can't control and flow with the, in, the, the vibes that are inside of you. Flow with what your higher self tells you. Be aware of what's going on with you on the inside. Right? Nurture your own universe. Right? That's it. Be, be Pisces. Unique. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. Plant yourself in your own energy. And things will start coming to you. Right? You'll start enjoying life. You'll start getting... Uh, better things, more expensive things, you know, a different type of quality, a different type of value, more so a different tax bracket, right? So it's like when you become more of yourself and you, you know, master that part of you, then you're going to start calling in other things, right? You're going to have to have the time to bring in other things, but life has been so hard and challenging for you because you're not embracing your uniqueness. You're not accepting the fact that I am special. I am a ray of light. Um, you know, I, I, I am who I am and I embrace that and I enjoy that and I give that to the world and I bring on that different frequency. Yeah, it may be a little crazy to other people and initially they may not be too accepting at first but as they get used to and adapt to something it'll become like second nature right but this is who i am and anybody who's around have to deal with this ray of light right just because you're not moving with the joneses or keeping up with the joneses doesn't mean what you are moving towards isn't important everybody may not agree with it or adapt to it or like it but it's definitely a different frequency, a change, right? Whoever it impact, that's who it's supposed to impact. Some of you waiting, oh, I need to get this up or I need to, you know, invest into that before I can do this or that. No, the universe is saying, no, you do not. Stop sitting around waiting until this happens or that happens. You, you, you just slowing up your process. Keep on going, right? You don't get to know. But once you master that uniqueness within yourself, then you'll be open to receive all the little things, tangible things that you want. You know, so this is the energy Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the sacred chakra and it's the sacral chakra. And this one is relevant to creative manifestation. I have the ability to manifest and create positive outcomes in my life. It is a time for me to manifest what I need. I ask myself, what do I need? I am optimistic and creative in carrying out all the tasks that come my way, even seemingly mundane ones. And I maintain a positive attitude in all I do. I am open to receive and I am deserving. So creative manifestation is the positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. 
This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time.